Hey guys, today I released version 1.4 of Jesse, and it's a big one, so let's get right into it. The coolest thing about this release is Jesse GPT, which is our very own customized AI, which has access to the documentation of Jesse and strategy examples. So you can ask it to write strategies for you or improve your existing strategies, or maybe prepare it for doing optimization, or let's say you are getting an error and you want to see why that is, you can just ask AI now. To demo it, let's ask it to write a golden cross strategy. And there we go, it is writing it with a proper syntax. So it defined EMA 20, EMA 50, and then a property for trend. And if you notice, you'll see that it is writing in the same style that I usually do in my tutorials. That's pretty neat. And it did a fantastic job. But at the end of the day, this is still an LLM and it is going to make mistakes. That means sometimes it might write a syntax that doesn't even exist. In those cases, just go back and test it and tell it if it's making a mistake. Or if you want me to improve its instruction for the future so that it would work better, please consider using this like and dislike button. And by clicking, you can also provide me a description and press submit, which will give me a report to go and see why that was the case. Also, if you're worried about the privacy of your strategies you can just remove that conversation from here and by doing so it will be removed from our, our server and we will also send a delete request to open AI I don't know how long they will keep the messages but if you do this we won't have it for sure so that's also something to remember in case you are worried about the privacy now I'm gonna make a separate video about things that you can do with Jesse GPT but but to give you a summary you can just check out the list here and of course so many other ways that maybe I haven't thought about. But this is just the initial version of it and I have so much cool plans for it in the coming months. All right, the next thing that I added was I completely refactored the import candles page and we don't have the tabs anymore just like we did in the backtesting. But now if you want to import multiple items simultaneously you can press the add button here as many times as you like and choose different exchanges or symbols. So for example, let's say I choose BTC for the first one and change the symbol to second one to ETH and then maybe LTC, SOL and I don't know, BNB. Now for this one, let's change the exchange to Binance Spot so that it would be different with this one. Now in the past, if you wanted to import from multiple exchanges at the same time, you could do that and there was no problem. However, if more than one of them were the same exchange, you should have been careful not to press the import button at the same time, because by doing so, you were going to hit the API limit of that exchange. But now, if I press the import all button now, you can see that the first one will start importing immediately, but all the other items from the same exchange will wait inside the queue so that the other one would finish first before starting. But the one from another exchange will also start immediately. So. In simple words, it's going to manage your imports for you. So for example, if I want to import data for, from let's say two symbols, I can just set them all at night, go to bed, wake up and everything will be imported for me. Now let's cancel these. Now another th thing that I added here is this manage page. In here you can see all the candles that I have already imported and I can also filter them by let's say the exchange name for example i can put testnet to see whichever test and exchange i have imported and maybe i don't really need this data anymore so i can just press on the delete button and remove them from my database we also have the option to filter them by symbol so let's say i can see how many symbols of btc i have for test and exchanges and this is the only one so let's remove this let's close the filter and also, maybe I like this one, but I can see that it is not up to date. And I want to start importing again, let's say since this date or whichever that we have, up until today. Now, I can just press this one button and that's it. If I go back to the import candle page, you can see that it automatically started importing it for us. The next feature that I added may seem really little, but trust me, it is really important. So raise your hand if in the beginning when working with Jesse, you thought to yourself, okay, I wanna start a backtest, let's say since the beginning of this year, so I need to import the data since the same date, like in this case, right? And then you started the backtest, but you got an error saying that you don't have enough candles. And why is that? Well, it's because yes, you imported candles, but if the beginning date of your backtest is since the beginning of the year, you also need 
from up candles. So that means you need to import candles since a bit earlier. And it's really confusing. So what I did is this. So let's change this to a symbol that I know for sure I don't have in my database. So for example, Neo. Yeah, so let's bring this one a bit earlier and sort the backtest. Now, instead of failing and simply telling me that I'm missing candles, it's telling me that I'm missing required warm up candles. And notice that the starting date that it is telling me to import data is actually before this date. And this is intentional, right? Because like I said, we need warm up candles. But not only it will tell me the exact date, it will also provide me with this button that if I click, it will automatically start importing for the same symbol on the same exchange and since that date that actually would work. So once this is done, I can just go back to the back that's sorted again and this time it will work for sure. Next, I added support for Apex Omni, which is the latest product of the Apex team. Now, if you already watched my previous video about the Apex Exchange, where I did a complete review, then probably remember that at the time I was using Apex Pro, but nowadays they introduced Apex Omni, which has support for multiple amount of order executions per second. Now I know these days other exchanges such as Hyperlookit are making a lot of noise, but to be honest, I don't really see any reason for using any other exchange because I have no KYC in here, just like any other DEX. There are zero gas transaction fees for orders. There are instant settlement. The order book is also on chain. And because there is no KYC, I can just have as many accounts, as many as wallets that I have. I just open MetaMask, connect it, and there I go. I can start trading instantly. So I can even create multiple accounts just as if I was creating multiple sub accounts on a centralized exchange. So that's why I have multiple accounts here, one for manual trading another for algo trading with jesse and so on if you're going to trade on apex please consider using our link at jesse.trade slash omni which will get you five percent trading fee discounts and it will also support me financially for making these videos and working on jesse in general there are many more fixes and tiny improvements that i did in this release but i don't want to go through them in this video i just wanted to show you highlights of it but definitely make sure to read the blog post that i published about this release to see what they are there's a good chance that this is the last video of this year so I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Those of you who have been following me for years probably know that I was suffering from a couple of injuries, but in the past few months I have recovered for the most part and you can really see the result of it in my work. I have been producing more content and a lot more releases and new features for Jesse. And I really can't wait about 2025, especially because of the bull market that we have ahead of us and the great things that we're going to achieve together. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the new year. Thank you.